this incredible mural um, unfortunately did have some design flaws in it. The artist made a few mi mistakes in his execution, which over time caused the paint to become very unstable. You can see the level of instability here, how the paint is flaking and detaching. And pretty much all of the mural was in that condition when it was uncovered uh, about a year and a half ago. To get the paint to re-adhere back onto the plaster and in plane, um, it's a process that actually requires several steps and you have to go uh, along at the speed of your thumb. And essentially what we have to do is to inject an adhesive behind the flake and then we have to let the adhesive set up a little bit and then using a special kind of mylar that's made for conservation uh, we press the flakes back into place and you actually have to sort of roll it roll the paint back into plane and then the mylar stays on the surface until the adhesive dries and then it just comes off generally by itself and the whole mural had to be treated in that way. Now we're almost finished with the consolidation of the paint and it's gone really remarkably well <laughs> considering that it was a very unstable work of art and then the next phase will be to take off all of these coatings of you know, a hundred years of varnish and grime and coal dust and just ambient dirt that gets all over everything. We've started with some cleaning tests and it's been very, very dramatic. Um, here you can see that if you look at, at the mural, this is drapery and it looks a kind of a unpleasant green but when you remove all of the discolored varnish and the other grime, what you see is that the drapery is really this beautiful, brilliant blue. It's an optical illusion um, because the varnishes have become very, very yellow, and yellow on blue makes green. So actually this sort of drab, orangey looking mural is really going to be uh, composed of beautiful colors. Over here, for example, you can see that, this is a cleaning test here, you can see that the background here is almost a pistachio green. And this one is really quite remarkable here. These are the rays of the sun, and they're a, a really vibrant gold color against a background which is going to be, again, pistachio green. You're not going to recognize it once it's, once it's cleaned and, and, um, and restored. It's really going to be very beautiful and kind of quirky, I think, but certainly dramatic and very, very upbeat and happy.